In this tutorial, we'll explain how to configure Target Scope in Burp Suite and describe all of the different purposes that Target Scope could be used for. You use Target Scope to tell Burp what you're currently testing. Burp can then make use of this in various places to control what happens and help to improve your efficiency. To configure Target Scope, you go to the Target tool and the Scope tab. Scope is based on URLs. By default, nothing is in Scope, and you add things to Scope by adding them to the Include list. If necessary, you can then exclude some items from Scope by adding them to the Exclude list. A URL will be in scope if it matches something in the include list and doesn't match anything in the exclude list. Some common ways to configure scope are that you can include a single domain or a folder or path within a domain, or you can configure multiple domains and paths together. You can use exclude rules for various purposes, such as excluding boring content from scope, or excluding functionality that is out of the scope for the test you're doing, or to exclude fragile functionality that might break if you test it, or functionality that is liable to break other activities such as killing your session, or deleting your account, or things like that. By default, Target Scope works off simple URL prefixes, and this is suitable for most purposes. If you enable advanced scope control, you can then define scope rules based on each part of the URL individually. The protocol, the host or IP address, the port number, the file path, and you can use regular expressions for each item. This is useful for more complex cases. For example, if you want to exclude URLs in different folders where the file name matches a certain pattern. In general, the easiest way to define scope is to browse the target application with Burp's browser and then use the context menu on the sitemap or tree or table to define the scope. So you can use the context menu, select an item and say add to scope, and then you can select items beneath that, use the context menu and say remove from scope. If you do this, then the scope configuration will be updated to reflect the items that you've selected. So what can you use target scope for? Well, the first thing that happens is that when you do add an item to scope, but will prompt you to ask whether the proxy should stop sending out of scope items to the proxy history or to other burp tools. This can help keep your data clean, reduce the size of project files and reduce memory usage. In the sitemap, there is a view filter. So you can select to only show in scope items. Everything else gets hidden from the view. You can do the same in the proxy history. The proxy's interception rules can be based on the target scope. So you can define rules which will only intercept items if they're in target scope. If you've configured a target scope and you go to perform a scan, but will automatically pre-configure the URLs to scan based on your scope. And in your crawl options, you can configure whether out of scope resources should be fetched by the embedded browser during the scan. If you create a live task, you can configure the scope of the task based on the target suite scope. If you use burps search function, you can configure whether only in-scope items should be included in the search. When you save a copy of your project, you can also configure whether to only include in-scope items. In Burp Intruder, you can configure whether Intruder should follow redirections and the, the URLs that should be included in the redirections. So you can configure whether to base redirections on what is in target scope. And you can do the same thing in Burt Repeater as well. 
If you use burp session handling rules, each session handling rule can be configured based on your target scope. And finally, if you go to project options and connections, you can configure whether all out of scope requests should be dropped regardless of where they're coming from within burp. So that's how to configure target scope in burp suite and all of the different purposes that target scope can be used for.